Now it's a pretty well known fact that Spain will be producing very very good and in fact ridiculous footballers, world class footballers as you play football manager, but most of them will be coming from your Real Madrid's, your Barcelona's, your Atletico Madrid's and whatnot. In this video we're going to take a look at five clubs who aren't the best clubs in Spain and you want to be checking those clubs out because one of them, they seem to do ridiculously well and they're like a fourth tier side. Atletico Pamplona or Usasana, if you actually want to use their real name, I assume that's how it's pronounced, are a Spanish first division side and in these five season simulations that I've been doing, they are very, very good at producing just quantities. So many players seem to come through with 130 potential or higher. In this simulation alone, they have 11 players, including Aitor La Fuente, who has 102 current ability and 131 potential ability, a left back, 20 years of age, looks quite good and he's actually not massively expensive in the grand scheme of things. Aitor Munoz is a 16 year old striker with 135 potential ability, not very good now but at 16, kind of expected. Similarly we have Edorta Martinez who is also 16, has 137 potential ability, he looks quite good, he's also very expensive. Ivan Lossa has 137 potential ability, now don't get confused by the fact that he's playing for a team called Sabiza, I believe Sabiza are at Usasana 3 technically, like a third team that they have. They've got B and A and they've got Sabiza as well, which is also one. Jose Maria Gallego also has 139 potential, and he's also currently playing for Sabiza. Sticking with Sabiza, we have Ruben Celijueta, who has 141 potential ability. He's We're starting to get in the realms of good players, and he's really cheap. I don't know whether that's because he's at Sabiza, but he's really cheap. With 145 potential ability and first team appearances as well for Atletico Pamplona, it is Yulin Benguexterra, maybe could be his name. He's expensive, but we know that there's potential there. And I keep saying this in every single one of these videos, if a player is valuable beyond their age and beyond the other players in their squad, it's normally a very good indication that they've got high potential. And the best player that Usasana have produced in this simulation is Javi Albistegui, maybe could be his name, 153 potential ability, 19 years of age striker, made a few first team appearances so far, but scored 44 goals for Sabiza in I think the third or fourth tier. Basically what I'm trying to say, Usasana produced about 10 or so 130 potential players every five seasons. So every season you're getting maybe a couple of players from Usasana with 130 potential. Now, before you start blasting me in the comments, I know Girona are obviously doing very well in real life at the moment, but in football manager terms, they are not one of the big sides in Spain. In this simulation alone of the five seasons, they have managed to produce 37 players with 130 potential or higher. In some of the other ones, they produce sort of 20 to 30 players as well with 130 potential or higher. They do this every single season. So if you've got a bit of money to spend, check Girona out every single youth intake. At the lower end of the scale, we have Emilie Fontas, who has 130 potential, but 130, as we know, is going to be good enough to be playing kind of a rotation role in a lower down Premier League side. Luis Romero has 133 potential. Frank Cathala has 134 potential. Pep Ribo has 135 potential, as does Raymond and Juan Cachon. With 137 potential, we have Estanis Sobragru, not his name, definitely not his name. He's already moved on to Real San Sebastian. The first of 10 players with 140 to 150 potential is Narcis Tarench, maybe. Decent looking goalkeeper. We've also got Eli Regas with 141, and then a big leap up to another Eloy, but this time just Eloy with 147 potential. Oscar Valles has 148 potential and is already looking very good. Andrea Punzi also has 148 potential as well, but at just 16, not quite ready for first team football yet. There were also five players with 149 potential. Eloy Aleu is one of them. Pep Caro is another. Inigo Lasarte is a third. Emily Fabregas, no relation is a fourth and Gabriel Hernandez is a fifth player with 149 potential and we are not done yet. Mark Checker has 161 potential. Romanian striker Corneliu Moldovan has 171 potential. Carlos Diaz has 174 potential and has just moved over to Espanyol in the second division. He's dropped down a league and at the top of the tree with four caps already to his name, Jan Palacios has 187 potential signed for Real Madrid how much money for? 23.5 million pounds. Girona got fleeced by Elche by the looks of it. I mean, that's it's potentially 32 million pounds. Palacios, 
as you can tell, is already very good, but he's a he's going to be a world-class centre-back. But to add a little bit more to this part for Girona, I'm going to take a look at another one of the five-season simulations, just to prove that it's not fluke. In another simulation with Girona as well, they managed to produce seven players with 150 potential or higher. George Rojas is one of them with 151. Hussaini has 152. Manels has 154. Anthony Miracle, which is a great name, has 159. Then we move into the realms of utterly ridiculous footballers with Dixon Mallow with 170. 73 potential. He's the third best, by the way, in this simulation. Oscar Zhu has 177 potential, and Andrew Arola has 179 potential. Girona are ridiculous at getting decent young footballers. CF Dam are a Spanish under 19s Division 1 side. They don't, as far as I'm aware, they don't have a first team, unless it's Horta and Horta aren't very good either. CF Dam are a team that you want to be checking out every single youth intake because all of their players are under 18. They're sort of normally sort of 15 to 18 years of age and they are ridiculous, some of them. And because of the team that they are, when players hit a certain age or when their contracts expire, most players don't actually want to re-sign with them, which is why a lot of the people on this list won't be playing for Dam anymore. Modu Mana is a 17-year-old Gambian winger who scored 23 times in 63 appearances for them. He's been released on a free, has 131 potential. With 134 potential, it's Jonathan Gomez, 17 years of age, contract expired, he's been released. Roberto Perez has 135 potential, 20-year-old centre-back. I assume his contract expired because he got too old and he's also been released. With 137 potential, we have Jan or Yan who has moved on to Sevilla for £3.6,000. This is how cheap some of these players can be. With 138 potential ability, we have Omar Fay, 17-year-old Gambian attacker, midfielder and striker, still at the club at the moment. He's got a year left on his £15 a week contract. He's worth £10,000. £10,000, that's it. With 138 potential, we have Narcis Illa, who has moved on to Real Betis. And obviously, he's going to be good. We know that. He has cost £6,500. This is what I mean by this club. You really do need to check out because they are cheap. Even if they, you'd kind of need to do a little bit of digging, they are cheap and they might even just get released on a free anyway. And the highest potential player by a fair distance as well from CF Dam is Amelie with 157 potential ability, 20 year old centre back, six foot four, playing for Ebro, whoever they are, they are in the, is that like the fourth tier of football, third tier of football in Spain? But Amelie is very, very good. And he's cost literally 2,600 pounds or a free transfer as he went to this team before going to Ebro. And in another simulation, Dam managed to produce another, I think this one had 12 players with 130 potential but most of them sort of 130 to 135. Enric Rubio is probably one of the better ones with 135 potential ability. Centre back, he's already moved on a couple of times. He's gone to uh, Osasana and he is currently wanted as well by Mallorca. So they, CF Dam, check out CF Dam. Now I am 100% going to mispronounce the name of this team. It is Sporting Gijon or it might be Gijon. I'm not quite sure whether it's a hard J or a soft J, but they are a second division side in this simulation. They've kind of gone up a couple of times, com come straight back down again to the second division. But they, much like every team in this video produce stupid amounts of very good footballers. Players such as Eduardo, a 16 year old Spanish goalkeeper with 131 potential. David Ventmiller with 137 potential already looks pretty good at the moment. Fernando Morata also has 137 potential. Bernat has 139 potential, 15 years of age. Doesn't look very good at the moment, but obviously plenty of time to grow. Xavi Lopez Santos also has 139 potential and is also only 15 years of age. Those mental numbers, just the determination and teamwork are making me look at him going, I'd, I'd take a risk. For a quarter of a million pound, I'd take a risk on him. Camilo Suarez as well has 139 potential. Again, those mental numbers are actually pretty good. With 140 potential and 104 current ability is Rafael Serrano, already getting some first team football by the looks of it in the second tier of Spanish football. Rafael Campo has 141 potential ability and 133 current ability. He's already moved over to Espanyol and is wanted by Al Hazem, probably in Saudi Arabia. With 147 potential ability, we have an Australian Australian called Tassos Arsenis, might be his name, not quite sure. He's starting to get some first team football, unfortunately he has broken his leg. Jumping up into the 150 potential, 154 potential, we have Venezuelan attacking midfielder Nestor Pascual, who looks pretty good to me. He's worth a fair amount of money though, so maybe you wouldn't want to go for him just 
purely based on this 8 million maximum price. With 155 potential, we have Raul Martinez, a winger and striker. And with 157 potential, 127 current ability is Lazaro Parada, who's already moved over to Mallorca as well. He looks really good. I play a defensive midfielder and I want this man in my team. Deep line playmaker, he will do the job every single time. I think one of the main reasons why Gijon do quite well is their excellent youth facilities. And I think they're probably one of the few teams in the city of Gijon, which means they're basically just poaching all the best players from that area. And we finish things off with a team who are just off the coast of Africa and in fact, bloody miles away from Spain. It is Las Palmas from Gran Canaria. And much like every team in this video, you want to check them out. In this simulation alone, there have been 17 players with 130 potential or higher. Amadou Kamara has that 130 lower limit, but they've had plenty of players as well with 120 down to sort of 110 as well in that region, which is still pretty good depending on what level of football you're playing at. Yadel Calderon has 133 potential ability. Namesake Yadel has 133 potential ability as well, but he's kind of in the first team, maybe? He's got a squad number, apparently. Jose Andrade also has 133 potential ability, a Spaniard and actually part Angolan. I imagine he might play for the Angola national side if he wants to switch allegiances. Morimakan Birthday has 134 potential ability and is also part Malian. Armish also has 134 potential ability. He does not look very good though, does he? Amir has 136 potential ability. Nazuet Lopez Gomez has 138 potential ability, as does Miguel Parra, the Colombian left back. David Palacios has 139 potential ability and a second nationality of Basque. So if you're playing as Atletico Bilbao, Athletic Bilbao, he will actually tick the box for a Basque player. Moving into the 140s, we have Juan May Mecca, an Equatorial Guinean who has already moved over to Liverpool and he has cost 3.7 million pounds, which is actually a bargain. He's playing a couple of times as well in the Premier League. Did I mention he's got 146 potential ability? Nelson, however, has 149 potential ability. If I was the Las Palmas manager, I'd be tempted to try and play him, and I don't know why. Ramon Montes has 151 potential ability, and I'd say he's probably close to getting first team football. Ale Cornejo has 156 potential ability and 130 current ability left back, who does not, he's not a left back, guys. He's got 15 finishing, signed for Manchester City, actually played on loan as well at Troyes. 800,000 pounds, 800,000 pounds for a player of that quality, that's a bargain. 157 potential is Miguel Vallejo, 18 years of age, left back. That's what a left back should look like. That kind of shape, not weird directing down to attacking with 15 finishing. Nozet Lopez has 159 potential ability, attacking midfielder across all front three positions, and he is wanted by Man United by the looks of it. And finally, with 168 potential ability, Daniel Gabedo, Gab Gabedebo, Gabedebo, maybe could be his name, has three Nigeria caps already to his name, not really playing for the Las Palmas first team either, which I'd be, I'd be doing it based purely on his value, I'd be playing him in the first team. And the fact that he's getting Nigeria caps as well shows me that he's going to be very good. So maybe they should just already start playing him. Maybe Spanish football is not your cup of tea. Maybe you want to be looking somewhere a little bit more Eastern in Europe. Maybe Poland is that country. Take a look at the video on screen to check out five clubs from Poland that will also be producing some pretty good footballers.